Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little watch me work and do my own nails on these really cute space dinosaur nails. So the dinosaurs were inspired by Nail Shock and the rest of the nails were kind of inspired by a space dinosaur phone case that I had a really long time ago. Anyway, if you guys would like to see how I created this set, please keep watching. So to begin with, I am taking Marine from Premier Gel and a Lacente S1 brush and I'm just going to draw a really small oval shape on the nail and this is going to act as the body of the dinosaur. I prefer using a Lacente S1 brush for doing this sort of thing just because I find that I get a neater application. It is nice and thin so it's easy to use but I definitely recommend picking up the Lacente brushes as they will change your nail art game. Once I've finished and perfected the oval, I will then fill it all in using the exact same gel polish as Marine from Premier Gel. To fill in the oval, it probably would have been easier to go back in with my Lacente D3 brush, but for some reason I just carried on using my little striper brush and it did make it a bit more time consuming, but we got there in the end. But yeah, I definitely recommend going in with a bit of a thicker brush. I'm now going to start drawing the neck of the dinosaur so all I'm doing is extending a line kind of like in an L shape up towards the cuticle and I'm bending it a little bit towards the left and this is just going to create the neck of the dinosaur and then just making sure that that's nice and thick so the dinosaur doesn't look like it's got an extremely thin neck and then I'm drawing the little legs on to do this I'm just dragging out any of the remaining gel polish from the body just to make sure that I'm not going in with too much gel polish and I'm just dragging it out four times to create the little legs. So for the head of the dinosaur, I'm just getting the initial shape with a dotting tool and then linking the little dot to the neck with my brush again. And that's what it should look like after you've done that. I'm then going to cure it for 60 seconds and then go in to create the eye of the dinosaur and I'm just using a dotting tool and a fine brush. I'm then going in with Jelly Gel Polish Bon Bon and this is going to create the little dots on the dinosaur so just doing that with a really fine dotting tool and again you want to make sure you're curing that for the full 60 seconds after you've done that and that's your first little dinosaur. So I'm now going to repeat the same process for the next two nails except I'm going to be using different colours. So here I've gone for a pink. This is from Candy Coat, it's one of the paints, I can't remember the name of it, I'm not going to lie, but I will leave everything linked in the description part down below. So as you can see here, I've actually moved to my Lacente D3 brush as the paint from Candy Coat is quite thick and it can be quite difficult to work with, especially when you're trying to draw circles with a thin brush. So I thought it'd be easier to go in with my D3 brush. But as you can see, I'm just doing the exact same, creating the initial body of the dinosaur and I'm going to fill all of that in. I must have found it easier to work with the Lacente D3 brush as I've kind of stuck with it. So as you can see, I'm just doing the exact same for the neck and the head of the dinosaur, just extending that out. And as you can see, it is like an upside down L shape and just making sure that the dinosaur's neck isn't too thin as you don't want it, don't want it to look like your dinosaur's got a teeny tiny little neck. And then again, just dragging out any excess gel polish on the body to create the little legs. I did actually draw a little tail on this dinosaur, but I think I did it out of shot. But to create the tail, all I did was drag out a little bit of the gel polish again, like I did on the legs. I'm then going in with a dotting tool to create the head of the dinosaur and then cure it for 60 seconds before going in with the dots. And here I'm using Key Lime from Jelly Gel Polish to create the little dots and then again we're just going to go in with the eyes you want to make sure that you're getting your eyes perfect here it was really difficult to do but you just need to make sure that you are really concentrating and then we're going to go in with the final dinosaur and i'm using key lime from jelly gel polish here and again she's using the same lacente d3 brush filling in the body going in with the neck of the dinosaur then moving on to the legs So 
So I thought it'd be fun to mix this dinosaur up a little bit. So I went in with Marine from Premier Gel and I'm just creating little spikes on the dinosaur. That was really challenging. I ended up having to do it off camera because it was so hard to try and record whilst doing it on camera. And then going in with a really fine dotting tool and adding some little spots again using the same pink paint from Candy Co and drawing on the eye of the dinosaur. To create the first planet, I am taking Cerise from Halo Gel Polish and I am using my Bowen brush from eBay. I'm just creating a perfect circle. This was so hard to do whilst trying to film it. I felt like a contortionist. I had to move my hand in all weird different ways. But once you've got the general shape, it's quite easy. I'm then filling in the rest of the circle using the same Cerise colour. Again, it probably would have been easier for me to go in with a thicker brush, but I think I was just that busy trying to concentrate on what I was doing at the time and just didn't even think. Then I am going in with the 01 paint from Candy Coat Paint, which is a white, and then Marine from Premier Gel, and I'm just going to swish them all about, swirl them round so it looks like a planet from afar, and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. I'm then going in with the black gel polish to create the space background. I wanted to do like a glittery background, but unfortunately I didn't have a glitter that was appropriate. So I just went in with a plain black and I went in with the black afterwards as this is actually easier because when you are drawing your planet you want the colours to be as bright as possible so if you draw colours over a black background they will come out looking more dull whereas if you paint them over a neutral or white background they will look a lot more vivid and bright and then also it's easier to perfect your circle when doing the black afterwards as you can go around and make sure that the circle is perfect so that's why I do it that way. Then once I've finished all of the black background I will go in and cure for the full 60 seconds. And on my little finger, I'm doing the exact same as I did on the thumb, but I'm going in with different colours. So I took Premier Gel Marine again. I'm trying to keep it so all the colours were matching and they all flowed. And I'm just creating a circle shape. Again, this was very, very challenging to do on yourself. So much easier to do on a client. But yeah, I'm just going to go and create that circle using the Bowen brush again. I'm going to fill in that whole circle make sure that you do not cure it as you need to make sure that you can marble the colors all together i'm then going to take the same white that i use from paint and bonbon oh no sorry key lime from jelly gel polish and marble all them colors together it's really easy to marble i just use a brush for this one basically just swirling the colors all together i've actually done a tutorial on my youtube channel previously on how to create marble so if you're unsure make sure you go and check that video out i will leave it linked in the bio i'm then going to cure that for the full 60 seconds and then again just go in with the black gel polish you want to make sure that you are getting as neat of an application as possible so i was making sure that i was using a very thin brush for this making sure that you are getting your circle as perfect as possible and also making sure that you are getting the gel polish right up to the cuticle and the side walls of the nail as well so everything looks nice and neat. Once you have finished filling in the background, you're going to cure them for 60 seconds. Then you're going to go in with a top coat. I'm using the Gelish Top It Off Top Coat. Again, once you've applied all your top coat, you want to cure it for 60 seconds. And then when they come out of the lamp, you are going to wipe them, wipe the inhibition layer off the nail that is, and then apply your cuticle oil. The one that I use is one that I actually homemade myself, and it smells like lavender. It's bloody lovely. But yeah, and then you have the finished set. So this set of nails was actually inspired by Nail Shark, as I said earlier on, but also my Xbox name. So my Xbox name is Space Dino. I know it is absolutely ridiculous, but we couldn't think of a good Xbox name at the time. 
and I had a phone case that had space dinosaurs on and I thought that would be quite a cute name because space is cool and dinosaurs are pretty cool as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate this set, make sure you tag me in them on Instagram so we can have a nosy. And if you did like this tutorial, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but they are very me and I really enjoyed doing this set. I think they scream Louise. It's, they're very fun and they're cute. I really like them. Hopefully you guys do as well. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.